Welcome everyone. I'm in Alabama today. I'm going to show you the filming locations from Tim Burton's classic movie, Big Fish. Join me, shall you? Who, me? Who, me? Who, me? All right. Come on. This is the house Edward Bloom lived in in his older age right here. For that, it was all the riches a man could ever want. That's awesome. Almost looks like it's abandoned. Check it out. Here's the pool where he was cleaning the pool. Right there. That's awesome. That's where the fish was swimming around. There's the famous pool right there, the big fish pool. That's the house, awesome. Of course the pool's right over there. You're in the way of the pool, it's over there. Here's a trivia question for you. What happened here? This is where the giant stood. This is also where he got the keys to the city, right in front of here. Take with you this key to the city. They were both standing right here, and the crowd of people was over here. We shot a couple different scenes right in this area. And right now, there's a guy up there in that window gawking at us. You ain't going to stop him, Mayor. We will. Calm down. Calm down, everybody. Calm down. Calm down, everybody. Calm down. That's enough. Calm down. The parade route that they would have walked down would have been right down this road, straight that way. In fact, you can see those white awnings as the giant walks underneath them. The giant would be right here where my tripod is. Pretend my tripod is a giant. We're re-simulating the parade right now. I'm one person and my tripod is another person. It's only a three-man parade and one of us is a tripod, but that's all right. We're having fun. She's smoking a cigarette, enjoying the parade, just like this guy in the movie was. Same pole right here, same awning. The camera would have panned up like this. And that's where the parade route would have been. There's a police officer over there blocking traffic right there. In fact, they're having a parade out here. How ironic. Are you still smoking over there? No. You're supposed to get back over there and smoke. Of smoke. Excellent. I like all these wrought iron. We got some wasps. Check out these windows right here. Look familiar? Because that's them. And here's the shot again of what they look like now. See this map right here? Bam! It was hanging right there. Well, hello again. Due to the nature of the road being blocked off, due to a parade, which is ironic because there was a parade in the movie, there's a real life parade when we're here. But due to that nature, that road is now blocked off. Look at this. There's some kids over there on on top of that scaffolding of that bridge. That can't be safe, they're watching the parade. They just got told to come down, look, look. Uh -huh. Busted. The car barricades down that bridge. It was a helicopter shot. The helicopter would have been fluttering around. But over here you see the church at the end of the road. That's where the giant stood and tipped the old woman's car on its side, and you can see that church. 
right over this way is where the red charger would have been parked in the parking lot at the dream sequence at the end of the movie. And they actually would have been coming right out of those doors there. spinning out the tires. It would have pulled right out that way. Those are some cool looking clouds. Are those cumulonimbus clouds? Cotton candy clouds. Ah, that's the technical term? Yeah. So this is the school where he would have gone and proposed to his wife. They called it Auburn University in the movie, but it's really not Auburn University. Does this look familiar to you? Sandra Templeton, I love you and I will marry you. I think right up here is where the sky riding was. I just stirred up some ants. This is the dark corridor pathway that he took on the way to town. Man, this is pretty crazy. And Tim Burton's stomping ground. It appears to be made out of foam. Yeah, it is styrofoam. Some sort of outer shell on it. All this is fake. It's not real wood. There's a chunk of it right down here. That actually hurt, but not as bad as you think it would. Because look, it's like styrofoam on the inside. Let's move on. Check out that. A lot of mosquitoes out here though, bugs. Movie magic here in Alabama. This is pretty wild, look at this. This is a fake tree. Look at this, completely fake. Nothing real here except me and her right there. She's real. Check this out, set number eight piece there. Stabilizer there, it's like a piece of metal. It stabilizes this tree to keep it from falling apart during filming. I think I can get through this way. This is the back side of the set. Check out the restructured here. Make sure that tree would stay in place. Definitely changed a lot. You can see the tree branches still in the same arch. All this has grown over, of course, and he would have walked straight through here. And into the town of Spectra. The shoes would have been strung straight across there. His shoes would have been dangling right there. Right there, his shoes would have been dangling. Right over here on this porch was where the guy from Deliverance was sitting. The kid all grown up from Deliverance, right there. It's amazing what's left of this place, all decaying. I don't think anyone's been sitting on this porch in a while. This fence is pretty awesome. The faux age. Faux, what does that mean? That means that the first shot they had it painted one color and they faked aged it. The That's next true, time. you can see both colors there. What'd you call it, faux aging? Faux aging. Here's where the general store was. It looked like someone has actually burned it down. 
welcome to you. It's the general store right there. Rest in peace. I'm standing in the same spot as you and McGregor. Check out the background behind me. You were expecting me? Well, what is this place? I think of this house here next to the church is where they had the dinner scene. Let's go around the back. This is the back side here. big chunk of the ceiling has actually fallen from up there. See where all the lighting framework was there for the shot they filmed in this room. So we gotta move this to get our shot. Gotta go to work. Oh yeah. Cool. Cheers. High five. Thanks to Nikki and thanks to me. We move that out of the way. Now we have the shot here. This is the dinner scene shot. They were sitting right there. The table would have been there, fire would have been there. Right down here below is where the little girl stole the shoes. Right there. She's a thief. Watch out, there's mud daubers there. Put your finger in there. Smash your finger up in there. Come on, do it. Yeah. You ready to move on? Yes. Get it! There's no floor in that church. There's no floor, there's no nothing. If you look in the windows, just empty. Check that out. Completely empty. That giant ant mound. Whoa, you're right. Jab it, ready? Yes. Yeah! Here's proof that they only fix up the things you see in front of the camera. This is the back side of the church. Never finished. Never painted, nothing. Any clue what this might be? Kind of weird. Slab of concrete on the very back side. I wonder if this is where they set up their food preparation table. Maybe this was the craft services table. This is where the dance scene was here, where they were spinning around. They just kept spinning, spinning around. That's the house there that the giant pushed to get back in shape. The giant would have been standing right there. Push the house back into shape. That's the house right there. That's where the piano would have been right there. She would have opened the door. Um, are you Jennifer Hill? I am. <laughs> the Tim Burton creation. Shunta Don. Of course, the funeral would have happened right in here. It's where the casket would have been. Family was all sitting over there. Of course, all the friends were way out in this area here. A man tells his stories so many times that he becomes the stories. They live on after him. And in that way, he becomes immortal. <laughs>